Welcome to our lecture online, and here is another example of how we work with Bernoulli's equation. What this example is meant to do for us is to give us a, give us a better understanding of how pressure changes through a pipe as it gains or loses uh, height and as it gets wider or narrower. So, in general, when you look at the equation, let's look at the right side of the equation, and let's say that if the height increases, what does that do to the pressure? And so if this goes up, something else has to come down. That means pressure goes down. Okay, if the height therefore goes down, that means that pressure goes up. If this becomes smaller, then something else has to compensate for it that goes up. Now, sometimes two things will change at the same time, but just let's take one thing at a time. Okay, what about velocity? Well, if the velocity goes up, if this becomes bigger, then something else has to come smaller, so that means pressure goes down. And if velocity goes down, velocity becomes smaller, then we can see that something else has to compensate for it and pressure will go up. So here you can see that if height or velocity goes up, pressure goes down. If height or velocity go down, pressure goes up. So based upon that, we can look at each of these points and see what will the pressure do relative to the previous point. So in this case, the elevation goes up, which means that pressure at point 2 goes down in relationship to point 1. Now the pipe gets wider. If the pipe gets wider, the velocity will slow down. If the velocity goes, slows down, then the pressure will increase. So we can say that pressure at 3 will increase as compared to pressure at point 2. Now we go from point 3 to point 4. The pipe narrows, that means the velocity has to increase. If the velocity increases, then pressure will go down. So at point 4, pressure goes down in relationship to point 3. Now we come down here and we lose elevation, we get to point 5. Now with point 5, we're at a lower elevation, so that means pressure has to go up, right? If, if, if H goes down, then pressure goes up. So pressure must go up relative to point 4, and now the pipe narrows again. If the pipe narrows, that means the velocity has to increase. If the velocity increases, the pressure has to go down. So at point 6, the pressure goes down. Hopefully this helps you look at Bernoulli's equation in a very different way. Simply, again, Bernoulli's equation has three terms on each side of the equation, and Bernoulli said that the sum of those three always stay constant, which means if one goes up, one of the other ones, or maybe both of them, will have to go down. So we took one at a time, height goes up, pressure goes down, velocity goes up, pressure goes down, height goes down, pressure goes up, velocity goes down, pressure goes up. It's as simple as that. So hopefully that will give you a better perspective on how to look at Bernoulli's equation. Now on the next examples, we're actually going to work out some real good examples of how to utilize Bernoulli's equation for different things.